shame. I'm a dog, I'm a beast, and I cannot be tamed. I don't do it for fame, it's the love for the game. I go in like I'm trained. I'm prepared for the rain, they amazed. I ain't break from the sticks and stones they threw. Anything that you can do, I can do it better than you. No matter what I do, a cheese still got something to prove. I spent the check on the diamond cross, but still ain't paid my dues. She gotta be number one, number two, never count. Used to have bubble guts competition, now pouring them out. Making my babies proud, wanna cop my mama a house. Coming straight out the south, got enough juice to end the drought. Yeah. I buy like, I buy like 23. Won't fall again and I put that on me. Yeah. I feel the way my heart all on my sleeve. Yeah. That's why I had to put my wrist on freeze. Come for the win, can't take another L. Designer on me, this that new Chanel Did that splash, did that drill Yeah, yeah, champion, huh? yeah, we here Spin the block around just like the hands on the clock. Come like a bat of the hell, I dare you to cross like a revenant. My energy paralyzed, I'm like a finger 11. Take a second, I'm finna send it like a pair in a mess. You're the best. If it ain't me, then you need you a confession. You a mess. Uh huh, you ain't scary to me. I heard you was a leader, but that ain't apparent to me. Put dust on you, a cheetah, run up and I'm airing the scene. I feel just like Vegeta Prince and I'm an heir to the seat. I mean, for real. Test the driver's sauce so I don't even grab the wheel. That's a lot on my chest, but it don't mean the man is steal. It mean I'm walking with some money, man. I mean a couple mail. <clears throat> Ew, think you need a mail. You ain't even eating while I'm feasting in the field. Still a bit warm here in Florida, but really, all things considered, a wonderful fall afternoon for football here in Tampa at Raymond James Stadium. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Carolina Panthers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Kaimi Fairbairn set to kick off. The first quarter of the season already in the rearview mirror, and off we go in week five on EA Sports. Takes this about five yards deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. First carry here for Philip Lindsay. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. First and 10. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. There's the Washington Husky. It's Dante Pettis. Yeah, he's going to get this deep on a Carolina side of the field. It's a big play there for the Buccaneers. 59 yards. At the six yard line. First and goal from the six. Check, 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 check. 
They'll run with Lindsay. And yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. Second and goal at the 11-yard line. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. One more time with Lindsey. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. When you look at the geography we're staring at, this part of the field, don't you always think of big backs carrying the football, bruisers trying to pound it in? Instead, we look at a little more of a scat back type, and he's trying to make it happen. Yeah, they went with the elusive, slippery guy. Couldn't get in there, though. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A great job to hold him to just a yard there. Now it's fourth and goal. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. From the left hash should be a fairly easy one here. A 21-yard attempt. The kick by Gold is good. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. Now it's gold after splitting the uprights to kick this one away. This taken in about four yards deep, and no effort to bring It's a touchback at their own 25-yard line. <laughs> On first and 10, Cousins. Throw left side complete. That's Elliott. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the 32-yard line. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. First down, Carolina. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Here's Cousins. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. A nice run leaves him just inches from a first. Could they possibly be tempted to try this on fourth and about a foot? He's got a man. It's Sutton that's complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Fourth down, no problem. 19 yards that time, but now it's first and 10. First down. Cousins now to throw on first down. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And down to the seven-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. After one on EA Sports. Buccaneers three, Panthers nothing. Two 
toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Kenny Galladay is intended receiver, but it'll be second and goal. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield, but he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. Second down, Elliott. Oh, and he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Panthers have taken the lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front. Offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. That is on the return. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field. And that's caught inside the 30. I'm only going to be out of the touchdown. Tampa Bay. K.J. Hammer, his first touchdown on the year. And the Bucs are going to retake the lead. They had just given up the lead, and they get it right back. Yeah, how about that? Answered quickly. Got right back to it, and look, long drives have their place. We know that. They can wear teams down. But when you hit them with big plays like that, that can really be a shot to them. A big time one. Yeah, one play, but now your defense is probably saying, man, we could have used a little more rest over here. <laughs> Cousins on first down. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. A six-yard pickup. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A gain of 13 yards. First down, Panthers. A first down throw for Cousins. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. Cousins pass. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 36. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. So from inside the 20, he's first and 10 at the 18. First down. It's Elliott. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Ball at the 14 for second and five. Three, 
just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Ezekiel Elliott. We've called a lot of games, but we don't normally talk about inside linebackers being that fleet of foot, do we? No, he was able to get outside there to make that play. Yeah, and you know what makes them faster? Their ability to read plays, understand what offenses are trying to do, and put themselves in proper position. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. They only got two, but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll send you across state to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have all the stats and all the scores from games going on during another busy Sunday in the National Football League. And he stopped immediately there. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. They'll try to throw now. Cousins. It is caught at the seven-yard line. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And goal from the two-yard line. They're not going to kick it. A chip shot, but they're going for it down three on fourth down. to throw Cousins this is caught a great open field tackle is going to stop him shy of the goal line Ezekiel Elliott unable to punch it in and the Bucks defense they'll celebrate the goal line stand The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Now the question, what do you do here? Time, not really an issue. You got over a minute, but you figure from this spot, you'd need a good 50, 60 yards to even consider a field goal try. Yeah, so there's optimism there, but there's also a little bit of restraint, right? You got to make sure you don't take a sack here. Don't end up in the end zone. Ball gets stripped. You could give up two points in that occasion or maybe even six if you can't get on it and recover it yourself. So make sure you protect the guy throwing the football if indeed that's the plan of attack. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. It's complete to Golden Tate. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. They'll look to throw. Caught right side, Tate. And he'll go out of bounds, making it all the way down to the five. A big play there just before halftime. 41 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. 
And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Philip Lindsay, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Taken about seven yards deep. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. First down, here's Cousins. Throwing deep for Galladay. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Cousins. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Cortland Sutton in the final seconds of the first half. And the Panthers are able to get this back within a touchdown. Terrific. Touchdown. I know we've got a game now. Yeah, I think anytime you go to the second half down just one or two scores, you feel not where you want to be, but in a pretty good spot. And I think for most teams, when they go into the half in this situation, it's not a lot of adjusting going on. It's much more, all right, guys, let's just play a little bit better than we did in the first half. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. the score, Buccaneers 17, Panthers 14. Kaimi Fairbairn set to kick off. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Bucs take over first and 10. At their own the Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? You're just feeling it. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. The Panthers going to get the football first, trailing here as well as we resume play in this second half. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. It's a pickup of six. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why, what we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. He was trying to get it to Ezekiel Elliott, and it's third and four. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. 
Throwing his Cousins. And able to find Higby. It's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16. Carolina. A first down carry by Allen. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. The ball carrier. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. The Bucs with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. Cousins now from the 50. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Throwing Cousins. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. So for Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. From the gun, here's Cousins. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 44. He's got the lane, and there he goes. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. On first and 10, it's Lindsey. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. At the two-yard line. They'll try to run with Lindsey. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Philip Lindsey with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Bucs capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. The PAT up and good, but hold on a second. There is a flag. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Five-yard line. Start the drive with Elliott. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. He was brought down by Mike Edwards. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two at the 33-yard line. On second and a couple. Cousins. Open man is Higby, the tight end. And all. 26. A big play there for the Panthers. 41 yards. First down. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now. First and 10. Here's Elliott. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. Now Elliott. And he is 
in. Touchdown, Carolina. Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Panthers have got it back to a one-score game. For the extra point. It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. Buccaneers 24, Panthers 21. Kaimi Fairbairn set to kick off. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Take over first and 10 at their own 18-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. That one goes for 24 yards. They'll run on first down. It's Lindsay. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And he will be taken down. But a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. So both teams trade touchdowns. And the third is worth through three quarters of play. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. They'll run here with Lindsey. He'll have a first down inside the ten. And did he get in? No. Down at the one-yard line. Last play went for over 30 yards. This one not quite as big, but still over 20. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll try to run this one in. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Buccaneers here finding a way to stretch their lead. And the lead will grow by one more. Makes the score. Buccaneers 31. Panthers 21. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Down, Carolina. Cousins. Got a man open. It's Sutton. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Give him 15 there, and the Panthers have a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Working out of the gun, Cousins. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A gain of nine. A nine-yard pickup just one yard away from three consecutive first down plays. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Cousins again. Over the middle complete. It's Elliott. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 26. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. First down, Panthers. On first and 10, Cousins. And they are 
able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Again, it's Cousins. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Kenny Galladay, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Panthers are able to get this back within a touchdown. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he returns this to the 22. Pettis on the return. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. On first down, Lindsey. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Phillip Lindsey, 64 yards as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. Now you talk about the dominating rushing performances that you and I have seen together. This has got to be right up there. His fourth touchdown run of the game and another long one to boot. And I don't need to ask for a witness because you're right here with me. We are watching this, and we're watching such a performance that it's demoralizing for anyone on defense. You know, it starts out coaches screaming, tackle him, get him. And after that last touchdown, I bet it's pure silence on that side of the ball. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Now a dump off here complete. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. To Ezekiel Elliott. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 42. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. He's going to let it fly. A big play there for Carolina. 44 yards. A pickup of 40. There's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. First down. From the red zone now, Cousins. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. Incomplete. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was a type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. If it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Kenny Galladay, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Panthers have got it back to a one-score game. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side. Get that high hop. 
and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So they got their touchdown. Now down a field goal. Here comes the onside kick. And the Buccaneers able to recover. Their hands team does its job. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. Number 30, Phillip Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And eight. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. On play action, they'll throw. The 20! Open man Hamler, that's complete. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. They'll run on first down. It's Lindsey. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. They'll go again with Lindsey. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Now the Panthers are going to signal for their third and final timeout. As it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. On third down, here's Lindsey. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. A 31-yard attempt. And Gold is able to put it through. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. One possession game, time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up defensively. You can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep to and at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. Today's final score, Buccaneers. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still... You were wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for Tampa Bay, they boost their record up to a strong 4-1. And, and they'll get to stay home again next week as the Minnesota Vikings come to town. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, they drop below 500 to 2-3 and three with a loss. And perhaps fortunately for them, they'll get an early bye next week and come back to action in Week 7.
And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody. Every day. Don't tell me to relax, I can't, I'm a snake Got a new press nose and a jigs and a ray Got a new bridge swatch, but it don't take time Might pull up on a hop if it's up too high And you wanna play ball, hit a three-point shot Or this my court, got a block on lock I done made about a million and I'm only 19 uh, I see water dripping on a white tee And shorty got a man, but she's saying wife me I got chats coming in like a pair of Nikes If I like it, then you know I'm finna get it Get the bag and then I flip it, watch me do it
like a quarterback. Oh. We ain't worrying about no farmers, we ain't staying there. Let's Running go. out the block, yeah, I'm something like a lineback. I got juice like a fanta, how you like it? How you like it? I'm on purple, I'm on yellow, like a Viking. Like a Viking. All these plays that I'm catching, I done gone crazy. crazy. I do my thing, six range, just like Tom Brady. Brady. Touchdown, I just scored a whole bucket. bucket. I just dropped the bag on the tag, he ain't nothing. Make gon' throw a flag when I pass, come through stand. Call me tired, girl, it hit the hole, then I ran it. Get money, Let's go. you ain't trying to get that second flag. Black bridge water, Lamar Jackson, how I throw them ravens across the border. Hold up, you know I'm a touchdown with the sack. Run up the whole life and running back on the play. Intercept the pack like a safety, you boys had shake. play. <laughs> That's a flag on the play. Let's go. Touchdown, I just scored a whole bucket. bucket. I just dropped the bag on the tag, he ain't nothing. nothing. Make on throw a flag Play. when I pass, come through stand. Call me tired, girl, it hit the hole, then I ran.
Making nature all this automatic Diving in this pool. 